Hi, this is your host, Sapnil Bharatiya, and welcome to your Fundless Talk. Today, we have with us once again Dave Birmingham, Senior Technical Evangelist at Sayos Technology. Dave, it's great to have you back on the show. Yeah, it's great to be back, Swapnil. Thanks for having me. And of course, as we are going to talk about, you know, ensuring high availability for video management system, before we deep dive into high availability, let's just quickly talk about when we say video management systems or VMS, what kind of system are we talking about? In this case, video management systems, we're talking about security. So you've probably seen uh, in your walks in life or on TV, a security guard sitting at a desk with screens and there he's watching the cameras in the parking garage and the hallways and whatnot. That's a video management system. That's, you know, that's a small example. If you think about stadiums or malls or, or, or you know, um, towns and cities that have thousands of cameras, they, you know, so they span everywhere from small to large, but it's all about security and, and managing the video uh, associated with that security. Now let's talk about, of course, since you talked about security, so folks can quickly understand the importance of high availability for such systems. But uh, from your point of view, let's talk about what is the importance of high availability for VMS and what are some of the common challenges that teams face when they try to maintain this high availability? Uh, of course, we're talking about security, right? So high availability is, is crucial for video management systems because all these systems uh, are used for, again, for this critical security and surveillance operations where downtime really is not an option. Uh, any outage in recording or monitoring can result in security gaps or missed footage uh, so that's you know why it's super critical for high availability. So some of the challenges in maintaining high availability for video management systems involves basically protecting the key components involved in those systems. Uh, so most of those systems will have a concept of a recording server or multiple recording servers, uh, management servers, and then you know database servers that support all of those operations. So uh, that can again, when you start talking about thousands of cameras, that can get very uh, complex very quickly. So there's certainly some very key components that um, are you know, challenging to, to make sure they're highly available. How does SIOS integrate with some of the popular video manager systems like Milestone X Project? And what challenges do cloud deployment introduce for VMS high availability. So SIOS, your SIOS technology, my employer, uh, for the past 21 years, we are all about high availability disaster recovery solutions for Windows and Linux. So specifically in the VMS space and our partnership with Milestone and XProtect, we protect critical components. Again, uh, in the XProtect environment, we're talking about the SQL Server database. So we provide um, software that will do data replication and uh, cluster integration to make sure that that SQL Server database is highly available and the data is protected, replicated to multiple locations. But beyond that, in um, XProtect, there's a concept of the management server. And so SIOS will integrate with, um, with the management server to monitor the availability of not only the application, the software, but the hardware as well to ensure that uh, the continuous operation. So if there's a failure of any you know, any part of the stack, it'll fail over to a standby system. So that's you know basic high availability fail over clustering. When we talk about cloud deployments, some of the challenges, just like any other um, application, you want to make sure that you have availability across cloud availability zones and or regions. And, and managing the latency associated with, um, you know, deploying in the cloud. So SIOS can address um, some of those challenges by offering uh, our software in a very cloud agnostic high availability solution that works really across, you know, your on-prem devices, your cloud devices, your even multi-cloud spanning cloud environments or hybrid cloud from on-prem in, in the cloud to ensure that you have failover options between those different cloud uh, zones or regions or from on-prem to the cloud 
which are going to help ensure that the video management system remains operational despite whatever outage might occur. Since you mentioned outages and when, of course, HA or companies don't have HA in place, what does that outage look like and why does it matter? If you imagine, you know, in the VMS environment, you have an outage of your recording server, then you're not recording data and you're not monitoring that the data real time. So you're, you're susceptible to um, you know, bad actors, whatever might happen. But even after the fact, if there's um, something happens and then you need to go back and review historical footage to see, hey, what was going on at that time? Um, it's not there. So you're at, uh, you know, you're at risk of not only, you know, protecting against real time, um, you know, situations, but also not really being able to provide that historical data to, um, to support, you know, investigation. So it's critical that those applications remain online and you don't have gaps in that recording. What are the key components of a smart building that requires high availability and how do high availability solutions like, of course, that you folks work on contribute to improving overall security and efficiency of these buildings? We're talking about smart buildings, right? So what is a smart building? A smart building um, includes things like video management systems for security, but it also will have other systems for managing the infrastructure like um, lighting and energy and all those systems need, uh, require high availability. So um, in a smart building, any downtime can uh, disrupt building operations or introduce security risk. So SIOS will um, once again ensure that those, you know, the critical components of all those smart building systems remain operational through uh, continuous monitoring, data replication and failover to provide seamless operation. So uh, really by ensuring those critical systems are always available, SIOS will play that crucial role in enhancing both the security and the operational efficiency of smart buildings. How does SIOS address the challenge of high availability as smart buildings adopt cloud-based management solutions? As smart buildings move towards cloud-based management, you know, ensuring high availability across different cloud providers or regions can uh, become complex. Cloud environments are susceptible to outages and building operators need to maintain continuous operations. The SIOS can address those challenges by offering hybrid cloud and cross-cloud HA solutions, which allow smart building operators to fail over between clouds or from on-prem to cloud environments, minimizing the risk of downtime, ensuring building management systems and Internet of Things infrastructure remain operational even in the event of a cloud failure. These days, one of the hottest topic is Gen AI. Of course, you know, it's uh, AI has been around for so many years. We have been using AI machine learning for a very long time. But can you also talk about what role is AI and what role is machine learning playing in smart building management? And how can high availability solutions from SIOs support these technologies? AI and machine learning are certainly becoming essential in smart buildings to optimize energy consumption, predicting maintenance needs, enhancing security through real-time analytics, uh, these systems rely on continuous data processing and uptime to function effectively. SIOS can ensure that the underlying infrastructure supporting AI and machine learning applications remain highly available by protecting the uh, servers and databases that manage these workloads. So this ensures that AI-driven systems can operate uninterrupted, providing those real-time insights and automated uh, control over building operations. Can you talk about what kind of trends you are seeing in the smart building industry, particularly regarding high availability, disaster recovery, and the increasing adoption of cloud and AI? Yeah, smart buildings, we're seeing uh, increased cloud adoption and decentralized system management and a stronger focus on AI for automation and operational efficiency. With uh, these advancements, the importance of high availability and disaster recovery has only grown 
you know, building operators are now looking for solutions that can protect critical systems across multiple locations uh, and environments. So whether they're on-prem or in the cloud, Silos is at, really at the forefront of this trend, offering scalable HA and DR solutions that allow smart buildings to operate seamlessly while adopting cutting edge technologies like AI and, and cloud-based services. Dave, once again, thank you so much for joining me and talk about, of course, how to ensure high availability for the VMS systems. Thanks for great insights, and I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Anytime, I appreciate it. Thank you, Swapna.